Shalom. I want to start off by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakapadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect who are continuing to fight and teach this thing of ours in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Manatazak with GMS Ancient of Days in Los Angeles, currently teaching with the small sanctuary in Inglewood. And today, through the Spirit, I want to get in a quick lesson uh, before camp. You know, I'm out here on the battlefield, uh, sitting in the whip. Okay, and the Spirit hit me to do a quick lesson. And uh, through the Spirit, I want to get into a lesson going into the true nature of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, now the reason I want to do this through the Spirit is because even now, with all this information out from the, uh, the apostles, the elders, and the brothers on down, breaking down these scriptures in truth and sincerity, there's still a common misconception that the one who the world ignorantly calls God loves everybody. Okay? And that could, that is, 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 is completely wrong, and that can't be further from the truth when you read and examine the scriptures. Okay? The world likes to put the most high in a box. Okay? And they, they like to incorporate what the world views the, how the Lord should be. Okay? And that comes from indoctrination, from false teachings, from false prophets, and relying on the word of religion instead of the word of the Lord. Okay? And part of a prophet's job is to break down strongholds and to teach the truth of the scriptures. Okay? So without further ado, what I'm going to do through the Spirit is I'm just going to get a couple precepts. I don't intend for this lesson to be long. I'm going to get a couple precepts. Okay, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, just to show you the true nature of the Heavenly Father. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the hopeful elect. So we're going to begin the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, which reads, See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. Okay. Now, even in that sentence alone, we're not even done with the verse, but that sentence alone lets you know a few distinguishing traits. It says, see now that I, even I, am he. So, regardless of what the black woman says, this new empowerment movement, this feminist movement, okay? According to the scriptures, God is not a woman. God is a man, okay? It says, see now... It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me, no God with me. So that, that right there cuts the Trinity doctrine. The Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. When you examine the word of the scriptures, okay, when you look at the concordance, and when you look through all the verses, Trinity isn't even mentioned in the scriptures. So where did that false teaching come from? That God is a, a, a triune power. Basically, three spirits is one, or whatever the the Christian and Catholic Church teach. Because I used to I used to believe that, without knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But the Wadi Alba Shimei for having my eyes and ears open to the truth, and now I understand. Okay, there is nobody that is equal with the Heavenly Father. No one has been His counselor. Okay, He has passed all judgment onto His Son, which is called the only begotten and he is called the only begotten because he is the only spirit that the heavenly father created and through that spirit whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus his name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach okay and the Allah the angels they created everything that we that you see before you okay that, that, that there is a divine order and I believe that's in Corinthians this wasn't part of my lesson but through the spirit I just want to bring it out just to show you that the divine order has always been established and really quick I want to get the book of uh, 1 Corinthians uh, I believe it's chapter yeah 1 Corinthians 11 verse 3 okay it says but I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Hamashiach is the most high okay now when you break that down that's basically saying the divine order is the heavenly father Yahweh, his only begotten son Yahweh shy the rest of the men of our nation in their respective order and then the women and then the children 
That's the order. Okay? There is no Father, Son, Holy Spirit at the top and then the rest. No. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is one. He, he is the ultimate power. There is no one above him. He is the most high. Period. Now, continuing on in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, I'm going to read it all the way through. It says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So that lets you know the, the omnipotency of the Heavenly Father, the all-powerfulness of the Heavenly Father. Nothing happens in this realm, in this world, and what we perceive as our reality without being dictated by a decision that was made in the Spirit. Okay, the Heavenly Father ordains everything. He lets you know that He is in control. Okay, He decides who lives and who dies. Okay, He wounds and He heals. Okay, that's all power. All right, continuing on, uh, let's get up 1 Samuel 2 and 6. book of first uh, Samuel chapter 2 verse 6 it says it says uh, the Lord Yahweh Shai killeth and maketh alive he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up so the most high alone has the power to ordain who lives and who dies and even amongst them that have died it's within his power to raise them back up okay that is the power of Yahweh Bashimashai. That is our power, us so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans who encompass the true biblical Israelites according to the scriptures. And of course, the speckled bird mingling amongst the other nations. Okay? So, uh, continuing on, we're going to get uh, the book of 1 Kings, chapter 22. 1 Kings, chapter 22, verse 19. All right? 1 Kings chapter 22 verse 19 which reads and he said hear thou therefore the word of the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai says I saw the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left hand okay so this goes to show that the Lord is not just some some spirit okay with no form floating around in the heavens no we already established that he has a gender he is a male okay and this scripture lets you know that that he's sitting on a throne meaning he has a body he has a form okay and what's powerful about this is it says uh all the hosts of heaven are standing by him on his right hand and on his left hand that's talking about the heavenly host the angels okay because there was no war in heaven where satan led a rebellion okay that's blasphemy and that's dogma. All right. The right hand angels and the left hand angels are on the same team. They just have different jobs, different lots. You have those slated for righteousness, which are those the angels on the right hand side. And you have those angels slated to carry out the judgment of the Lord. Okay? The left handed angels, led by Satan. Okay? But Satan is in complete order. Okay, the book of Job even tells you that he can't do anything without getting the permission of the Most High. All right, but that goes to show you that both the right hand side and the left hand side, okay, both quote unquote good and quote unquote evil, are under subjection under subjection of the Most High. Okay, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. All right, and, and that's beautiful. That goes to show that there there's there's an order. Don't the scriptures say that, that a false balance is an abomination? Okay, it would be out of order if, if, if the Lord's creation had the power to disobey him and to run amok. Okay, but that's what you are taught to believe in these churches, these harlot houses. All right. Let's get the book of Psalm 78, verse 43. Psalms chapter 78, verse 43. Which reads, let's see, Psalm 78 and 43 says, yeah, 
believe that's the whole scripture. Bear with me, Baba Kusha. Let's see. Let's get a, no. Let's get Isaiah forty-five and seven. I think I wrote down the wrong precept. So lock you. Isaiah forty-five and seven. Move on. Actually, we'll begin at at uh, Isaiah forty-five and five because the headline above verse five reads, "The Lord alone is God." Okay, so this is Isaiah 45, verse 5. It says, I am the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Hashai, do all these things. Okay? Let's get a Job 12 and 16 as a precept. Okay? So the Lord is in control of everything, both good and evil. Alright? Let's get a Job... What was that? Job 12 and 16. It says, With him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his okay so it's up to the lord whether or not you receive this word the deceived and the deceiver are his everything is already predestined okay and set into motion all right that's why the scriptures uh asked the, that uh that parabolic question why is earth and ashes proud why are we proud we're not even in control of the things we do on a daily basis okay we have the illusion of free will but our path has already been set and laid before us. All right, let's get Amos 3 and 6. Moving right along. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord Yahweh Shemashah has not done it? We already brought out that, that he, he uh, controls the light and the dark. He controls good and evil. This is another scripture substantiating the Most High Yahweh Shemashah controls and ordains evil bad times okay let's get malachi beginning at the top points in verse two and you'll see what i mean when i read it it's the book of malachi chapter one verse two it says i have loved you saith the lord you how about shima shai yet ye say wherein has thou loved us was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai? Yeah, I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Now, the point here is to show that the Lord not only loves, but he hates. And among those he loves are his nation, his chosen people, the Israelites. And among those he hates, okay, are the nation of Esau Edom, which today are the true red men, okay? you so-called white people as a nation these are my words these are the words of the heavenly father okay as the scriptures say is there unrighteousness with the most high god forbid let god be true and every man a liar you can't put the most high in a box and how could you understand his ways in the in the in, the, in these mortal thoughts we can't understand you how about shima shai and the things that, that that he ordains and, and why he does the things he does he he does it because he has the power to do it kind of like a parent when, when, when a child questions them or asks them why they decided on a certain course of action it's in that parent's right to say because I said so that's why because they have the authority over us how much more so the Heavenly Father so if you have a problem with this message then you have a problem with the one who 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 decreed it okay we're just bringing it out so you don't have a problem with us Yahweh Shai himself said that uh, if, if the world uh, hates you, know that it hated me first. Because we're coming in the stead of the Heavenly Father. And this is his message. Okay? It's as simple as that. Okay? Let's get uh, Romans 9. 
which we oftentimes use is that Mike Tyson, you know, kid dynamite knockout punch. It, it, the Apostle Paul pretty much lays it out. Who the word is for, who Yahweh Shai came for. Okay. Romans 9. Okay, but I, I want to skip down to a verse 13. Okay, Romans 9 and 13, it says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So there it is, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. The prophets always spoke the same thing. Okay, let you know that these, these events and these accounts were written generations and generations apart. Captivity and captivity apart. Yet the word always stayed the same because this is the word of the Heavenly Father. And he puts it within us what he wants us to speak. And what he wants to come out. And it's all going to say the same thing no matter where you start. And that's the beauty of the scriptures. Okay, there are no contradictions. Every word written is written for a reason. Man is the one that contradicts the Bible. All right, verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Most High forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. So that lets you know, man, all things and all power is in the hands of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And that is one of the main primary reasons why you should fear him. The scriptures even say, fear not what uh, man can do to the body, but fear him that uh, can torture body and soul in hell. Why? Because the Most High is the spirit of the power of all flesh. He could put you in a disabled body. Okay, he can torture you, have you in perpetual pain. He controls all flesh. He is the father of all spirits. We should fear him. Okay, and we're going to end this in Hebrews 10, uh, verse 31. Hebrews 10 and 31, which reads, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay, it is a fearful thing. Okay, especially when you realize that you don't have control of your own spirit, your own flesh, and your own walk in life. So fear your how about Shema Shai, especially if you're an Israelite and you've been woken up to this truth. Repent, pray into the name of your how about Shema Shai. Pray for more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and most importantly, pray for repentance so that when the time of judgment comes, Lord willing, we can all be delivered. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. I want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect who are continuing to fight and teach this thing of ours in truth and sincerity. Until the next lesson, Shalom. People don't know my people chosen, uh, same blood line as Moses. We the people that walk through that ocean. We the people the most I done chosen. We gotta keep the commandments, yeah. Got all them ships and we landed here. Cause we got curse from the man upstairs. We don't put faith on the man over here. Only put faith on the most I. I'm from the city where most died. Do the run in me 28, oh my. We gotta love on each other. Our sisters and brother, you cook, I'm in no time. Most I let me up when it's showtime. I pray have mercy upon mine. Don't wanna be around when it go down. Chosen ones, 12 tries, we gon' overcome. Babylon, no, it's overdone. Look what they did to the chosen one. Keep the commandments for real. Stick together, cause it's about to get real. Love each other, I don't care how you feel. Forgive your brother, you could die, go to hell. Shalom. My people, we the chosen of God. We're supposed to have each other back. Let's come together, everybody be flexing. Ain't nobody out finessing. Start showing love, then we all gon' be blessed. We as one nation, don't throw up no sense. I'm showing that love from the east to the west. So helping each other, then we will not stress. Uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh.